The bodies of two teenagers were found riddled with bullet wounds beside a U.S. road on Sunday afternoon. It is believed the remains are those of Lyric Woods and Devin Clark who were reported missing by their families before the grim discovery. Two men riding four-wheelers were checking trail cameras in western Orange County when they located the bodies, police say. For more travel-related news and videos check out 7 Travel through our ongoing investigation, we have information that suggests the two individuals located off Buckhorn Road yesterday are Lyric Woods, 14, and Devin Clark, 18, Orange County Sheriff Charles Blackwood said in a statement. The North Carolina Medical Examiner's Office is working to confirm their identities and establish an official cause of death. Their bodies were found on Sunday at 3 p.m., after the families of Woods and Clark had reported them missing in the days earlier. Woods' family reported her missing to police on Saturday afternoon, her grandparents announcing a cash reward of $7,250 for her safe return, and later a $10,000 reward to the capture of the ones responsible for my granddaughter's murder. Cash. I need results. Wood's mother Jennifer Johnson wrote on Facebook, We know from the investigation so far that a male, we think an adult male, picked her up. He is also missing. She left with nothing. She didn't take clothes, money, or any tracking device. The distraught mother of Clark, Tiffany Concepcion went live on Facebook appealing for the public's help to find her son, he was last seen on, Saturday morning, at his house. He left at 1.30 a.m., that is my baby, and if anybody has seen my son, please inform me. I hope he's safe, I hope nothing has happened to him. I wish this on nobody. My body is numb. Johnson later wrote, It is with shattered hearts that this nightmare ended with us losing our child. Lyric was found tonight and our worst fears came true. Please hold your babies as tight as you can. Although we do not have that confirmation yet, in the absence of any other missing persons matching the descriptions of the individuals located, the tragic but logical conclusion is increasingly clear, Blackwood said. This loss is devastating for the victims' families and friends, and indeed for the entire community. As a parent, I cannot imagine how excruciating the wait for confirmation of the victims identify is. However, the process is important and critical to lead us to the person or persons responsible for this horrific crime. Tributes flow amid funeral plans the families of Clark and Woods are fundraising to pay for the funeral services. Clark's auntie, Anna Marie Bow, wrote on their GoFundMe page that Clark was a senior and athlete. He attended Eastern Alamance High School. He loved his family and friends. I'm writing you today to let you know about the loss of Devin Clark. We are absolutely devastated by Devin Clark's passing and struggling to find the funds to cover the cost of the service. A family friend of Woods, a Year 9 student at Cedar Ridge High called her an amazing young lady, daughter, sister, and friend. We want to give Lyric the memorial she deserves, honor her memory, and say our last goodbyes. Orange County School said they are deeply saddened by news of the death of our student, Lyric Isabella Woods and are offering counselors and support services in her school to assist students and staff. Clark's community gathered on his school oval where he used to play football for a memorial. These are all his friends, everybody came out to support my son, Concepcion said as she went live on Facebook surrounded by people dressed in blue and carrying balloons to release together. A police investigation is ongoing. And finally, thank you all for watching the video. Please like and comment your opinion so we can discuss together, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell to follow and update many other interesting news. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.